So what is good people? Welcome to another investing video. And in this video, we are continuing our investing $1 a day series. This time we are on episode six, which means I need to have a minimum of $42 invested into each asset. And so starting things off, here we are looking at my mint wallet and we're going with the gold and silver. So just a quick recap, I have $45.03 invested. That is $20 in gold and $25.03 into silver. And as you can see, uh, my current value is at $43.79, uh, $19.81 in gold and $23.98 in silver. So we are still down. Uh, we've been down for the past couple of episodes now. You can see that it's just kind of kind of going sideways. Uh, gold and silver hasn't really been doing much. You can see there is a little bit of a jump, um, I guess, in the past day or so. Actually, if you look up here, it's got the numbers. And yeah, we are trending back up, but we're still not where we were when I first invested. But um, the next episode, we will finally be past the... 45 day mark and so i will be able to invest again and if the prices stay low for the next week then that's going to bring down the average uh, the average price for whichever asset i decide to buy next week so i am looking forward to that but overall we are still down on metals but not by much just by a little bit so jumping into stocks so with stocks, we are, looks like we are up over the week and we're up over the month. So yeah, overall we're up on our stocks. We've only been doing this for a little over a month now. And for our dividend investment, um, our, we received our dividend, I think it was yesterday that I received the dividend. Um, yep, here it is, May 30th. So I received the dividend payment, and that, of course, was reinvested. It was only $0.08, cent, but the value of the stock was $5.04 when I received that dividend investment. And, oh, here it is right here. It was reinvested into the stock. So that gives us a little bit more than one share. Not much more, just $0.08 cent more. But as you can see, the stock is overall trending up, which is really good. All the stocks that um, we've invested in has actually been trending up. Have a look at this one as well. Starwood Property Trust has been trending up. And this is the monthly chart. Over the week, it's been going up as well. Um, I can't remember when the next dividend payout is coming. Uh, looks like it's not showing up. So we still got a little while before the next dividend payout comes with this one. And that would actually be our first dividend for Starwood Property Trust. And next one, EOG Resources. Um, EOG is actually trending down, surprisingly, over the month anyway. And over the week as well, down by 3.42%. But that's fine because it means that when I do buy some, it'll be a little bit cheaper. And this one is also a dividend stock, but I don't think there's a dividend coming soon. No, there is not. But the other two are trending up. And so ultimately we are up on our stocks. For today's investment, I am going to buy another share of the armor residential REIT and just because the um with the dividend payment i am getting over one percent a month i think it's like 1.5 percent which is really good and so i want to want to capitalize on that and get some more shares of this and so i am going to buy i'm gonna buy one share of this and then i'm gonna put the rest of the seven dollars into um eog resources so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right. So here I am at the notification screen. And you can see that I bought uh, one share or I have um, 
put in an order for one share. It'll be filled in when the market opens in the morning. And I put uh, $2 in EOG. So that was $5 and change into um, ARR and then $2 into EOG. That does put me a little bit over the $7 by 38 cent, but I figured, you know what, 38 cent isn't a big deal. So I'll cheat a little bit on this episode and invest $7.38 rather than just the $7. But that's it for our stocks. Overall, we are doing good on stocks, doing very good, especially when those dividend payments start coming in. So now, jumping into crypto. So I did receive the um, the US DEX that was migrated. Um, it actually came in Friday. So that was the day after I um, recorded the episode. So if you remember, I put $28 into uh, US DEX and then migrated that over to Arbitrum and it is now worth $34.43. And so what happens is when you migrate um, the US DEX from Binance to Arbitrum, they automatically stake it. And so this is um, this is staked and it's earning 18%. And this is actually the rewards that I've earned so far, 12 cents. And so since this was... Uh, it's been six days, so I'm actually getting two cent a day, which is not bad for a $34 worth of investment. Actually, I only put $28 into it, but the value is $34 right now, and so I'm earning two cent a day from it. And I was debating whether or not I should just buy some more US DEX and stake that, or should I jump into the new vaults and put something in there? And I figured since in my other investments uh, in metals, I got two different investments, gold and silver. In stock, I got three different stocks. So I might as well add another investment into crypto. So since I only put $28 in and I didn't do any investments for the last, last week's episode, I now have $14 left to catch up into crypto. And so I'm going to jump into one of the vaults, one of the new vaults here on Dex Vaults, one of the Arbitrum ones, and I'm going to order this by TVL. And I want it to get into these Blue Chip Bull, the Blue Chip Bull vault. This is a 100% compound vault, which means that everything that I earn from um, staking this is going to be put back into the uh, the principal and so it's going to be automatically compounded the farms available is a uh, wrapped bitcoin wrapped eth that's one farm and then another farm of wrapped eth and the arbitrum exchange token and so as you can see this is a relatively low risk farm which is why i'm choosing it and not any of the other higher risk ones and it's actually the apy is 248 dollars right now um, it will most likely go down over time, but I do want to take advantage of it being so high right now. Um, mostly it's going to be really high just because of the auto compounding. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put $14 into this vault. And you can see um, how well it's doing right now. You can see how much is deposited into each. You can see how well it's done over time. It's actually gone up a little bit and then gone down. And you can actually see the history of what people are doing as far as deposits and withdrawals. And you can check the blockchain to actually see the transactions. So I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, $14 into this and then jump back. All right, so now I'm back. Um, I was able to get a uh, $13.79 um, because, of course, I forgot about the actual gas fees. Gas fees were still actually pretty low. It was um, obviously less than just like 50 cent or something like that. But I figured, you know what, since I cheated on uh, stocks, I'll go ahead and put a little bit less than 14 into crypto. But I am now in the vault. 
So we will see how well we do next week since the APR or APY is so high. I'm expected to see some really good results when we check back next week. And these are all tokens that I feel fine about. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, have no issues with that. Of course, the Arbitrum Exchange token is a little, little bit more risky than the others. But I think Arbitrum is doing some good things right now. So the Arbitrum Exchange should be doing some good things as well. But that is pretty much it for crypto. All in all, we are way up, especially since um, that $28 investment turned into $34. And the Dex Vault investment is going to do really well. I mean, that APY is just incredible, incredibly high. So we will see what happens next week. So recap up on crypto, up on stocks and down on metals, but not by much. So all in all, it has been a pretty good week. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there any other things that you want me to check out? Any other cryptos that you want me to check out? I have been getting a lot of crypto requests. I'll start doing some videos on some of those um, some of those coins and tokens that you guys have been asking me about. And I'll let you know my opinion on them. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video.